This host is you, it stands for you. Huh? And what is said over that bread? It says, this is my body. Jesus says that to, about you. He means it to me, he, he takes you into his body. That's what happens. This is my blood. See? My blood, by the way, the difference between the, the, the body and the blood, the body is the outer, outer part of me. You can see my body, you can't see my heart. Neither, neither can I. The blood, the body is the outer life that we share together. The blood is the inner life, the life of the heart. And Jesus opens up both of them for us. Huh? The outer life and the inner life. And invites us to do the same thing. Huh? So this bread that's brought up, wine that's brought up, your bread, your wine, your body, your blood, this becomes the body and blood of Christ, given to the Father, offered to the Father in the name of the whole people, and your work is to do that too. You stand up at that point, don't you? Right? Then what happens next, and this is the last part, is what we have offered to God, He gives back to us. He gives us back what we gave to Him, right, in communion. Except it's changed. Something's happened to it from when it was back there to when we receive it. Namely, Christ has made it his own. And he gives us back the gift that we gave to him. Why? So that we can give to others what we have received from him. So we can give away ourselves as he does in love. That's what, that's what the Mass is about. Huh? So that the, the, the Mass then is what we come together and we leave to change the world. Not to leave the world the same as it was, but to change it, little by little, right in our own life, huh? right in your life right now, right in my life right now. If you do this all around the world, the world's gonna be different, and if you look at the last 2,000 years, that's exactly what's happened. That's how, and at the center of all this, for the 2,000 years of Christianity, every week, for 2,000 years, do this in memory of me. This is my body, this is my blood. And that's what, uh, now that you're coming, to your, 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 you are gonna have to decide, at your, as you become adults now, uh, no one's gonna, I don't think, no one's gonna you know, force you to come to this. You're gonna have to decide that this is the person you wanna be. But therefore, if you're going to have to face such a decision, you ought to think about what's happening. What is it? What am I being invited to do? Because this, this is something that will, ch it will change my life if I let it. It will change my life. I just want to conclude by saying that uh, it, it, there are the Ten Commandments. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And we'll see more. Uh, I think the next session we have, why that's so important. We talk about living a moral life, as Jesus tells us. One of the commandments, and the first ones is, remember to keep holy the Sabbath day, to keep the Lord's day. That is to say, in the, in the tradition of the church then, is to come to Mass every Sunday. I've been thinking, and I think, for, I would say to you, that you're, I don't think there's anything more important you can do. If you do, I don't care if you do all kinds of horrible things. Come to Mass. Don't not come to Mass. Uh, because that will, uh, later on in your life, I've seen this happen again and again, people that keep coming to Mass, they keep remembering where they're going and who it is that they're, that's calling them to, to, to life. Huh? And they remember to be grateful. If you separate yourself from the Mass, you forget who you are and who you're called to be. Little by little, you forget it. And uh, once you forget, it can be very hard to remember again. It's certainly possible that always people can come back to the church, and people do uh, with great longing, but uh, if you stay faithful to the Sunday Eucharist, I can just assure you that your life will be better. Resolve that that's what you're gonna do. And the reason I guess I'll, all I'll say is, if I, why do I say that is because of everything I've said up to this point. Because what the Mass is 
and what, what you're called to be, what you're capable of being, huh? Give me